The family prayer this morning is a little bit different, and I'm going to start with a, a little story about our family this week that I hope encourages you, but also reminds you of the God that we are praising and the God that we serve. So this week, Fletcher, our eight-year-old, had to have a tooth pulled out, and it wasn't very nice for the poor little lad, um, and we got to the dentist, and unfortunately, I'm not going to go into too many details, because I don't want to scare anybody, <laughs> but it didn't go to plan, <laughs> and it became a little bit traumatic for the, the young lad. Um, we got to the point, we'd been there for over an hour, and the tooth was not cooperating, and there was no option, it had to, it had to come out, unfortunately. And the dentist said, we had three dentists in the room by this point, <laughs> he was getting VIP treatment, um, and the dentist said, I think we should leave it, dose him up on some antibiotics and bring him back in a week. And I was like, my first thought was, I'm not starting this again in another week, like, this is not happening. By this point, Fletcher obviously was, was very distressed. He was, he was very upset. He had, his breathing was going very quick. He wasn't listening. He wasn't focused on anybody, no eye contact. He was, he was a ball on the chair. Like we couldn't even get him to lie down. We tried comfort. We tried tough love. We tried a bit of everything, bribery. It's really bad to bribe at a dentist that you'll give him a lolly when he gets home, but <laughs> we tried everything. And he was, he was a ball and... We, he just wasn't, wasn't happening. So when the dentist said, we'll come back next week, and I thought, no, that's not happening. And I said to her, and to be honest, I, it's not something I've done before, and it, it took a little bit of guts. <laughs> but I said to her, you're just going to wait a minute. We're going to pray. And I don't know what she thought of me. <laughs> she looked at me a little bit funny, and then she said, oh, okay, and she kind of moved back a little bit. And so I got down next to Fletcher and I started praying over him. And it's, it still kind of blows my mind a little bit, so just bear with me, I'm sorry. <laughs> the presence of God filled that room like I have never felt it before. The Spirit of God came on Fletcher and physically he changed. He pretty much uncurled on the chair. His breathing slowed. He focused on me. He's, he's terrible at eye contact at the best of times, but he focused on me and he listened to every word that I was saying. He relaxed to the point by the time I'd finished praying, he was lying down on the chair and he was, he was ready to go. And the dentist went over with her little tool. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. And she, just before she touched him, he popped his head up. And he said, Mum, I'm still scared. And I said to him, did you hear what I prayed? And he said, yes. And I said, do you believe what I prayed? And he said, yes. And I said, God has got you. Lie down, we're doing this. When we say we, I was not part of this. <laughs> the dentist put her tool in his mouth, touched his tooth, I think she said two times, maybe three, and it pretty much fell out. And that tooth was nowhere near coming out. One, and he actually looked up and he said, is that it? <laughs> so we've been here for over an hour, is that it? Um, and I've talked to him since and it, it was just, he felt himself change and he, he knows that it was because we were praying and it was just incredible. And not only did God show up and show his power, but I believe that he showed off because those dentists, I had one say to me, I can't believe when you were talking how his body changed. She physically saw him change. And the other dentist said, that tooth was nowhere near coming out. I barely touched it and it just fell out. And at this point I was just kind of like <laughs> a bit blown away and I just went, yeah, I know. <laughs> I thought, oh, that sounds a bit arrogant. But, <laughs> but God is good. And this week he showed up for an eight-year-old who needed his power and he showed up for a mum who needed a fresh touch of the spirit. And man, did we get it. So let's pray. <laughs> God, you are good. God, you are powerful. God, you are present. 
and God, you are working. When your son, Jesus, walked on this earth as fully man, he performed miracles that people witnessed. And I thank you, Lord, that you are still performing miracles today for people to see. Those miracles are happening in dentist surgeries, in homes, in cancer wards, in workplaces and in churches. I thank you that miracles happen when we pray. I praise you that when we pray, you show up. You move and you change circumstances. Even if they seem unchangeable, you can change them. I pray that this week you will ignite the desire to approach you in prayer and you in each of us. I ask for boldness and courage for us to pray into situations, no matter, no matter how daunting. And I pray, Father, that we will see answers to prayer, tangible answers that leave us in no doubt that you showed up and show off, Lord. I pray that your power will be shown this week and I thank you for it. I ask that where circumstances need changing, that you will move. Lord, I thank you for your promise that you will never leave us. And Lord, I worship you for who you are and what you do. Be with us this week. Move amongst, amidst us this week. And may your presence be tangible and be revealed to us. In the mighty, mighty good name of Jesus Christ. Amen.